Yeah, g'day everybody, and welcome to the ninth video about my Harley Davidson. Um, please like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. And uh, thanks again for Harley Davidson. Uh, this particular video is in regards to me getting a new one. Uh, if you want to be a guest rider, just email in your photos and I'll be happy to put them up. So here we go, this is an iconic photo of the movie Easy Rider. And that particular bike there is one I would love to get. Um, even though choppers are fairly hard to find in Australia, they're not the most common thing that you see on the roads. Um, like in Australia, it's mostly the soft tails. So, I was looking at getting this. This is a standard soft tail, but unfortunately it wasn't available in Australia. So I had to look at the next best thing, and I found this. This is the 2023 Street Bob, uh, which is a soft tail anyway, but it uh, comes in different colors, and here's some photos just the different modifications and etc of what the bike was doing so at this stage the green bike is gone and I don't have it anymore and I'm looking at a new bike I thought about second hand but I thought no nah, I want to go new I need something with power reliability and I've never had the opportunity to buy a brand new Harley so I thought well here we go so I can get it in red um, you can get it in yellow or you can get it in the black and I like the black. I thought, well, the fuel tank's nice. It's orange and yellow as well on the fuel tank. Different mods. So here I'm looking at different, you know, different things you could do, and what the bike looks like. So these are other photos of other people's bikes that they've they've done to this particular model. And look, I don't I don't mind them. Um, but again, everybody wants to personalise their Harley. So I ended up deciding to go. Okay. We're going to buy this one. I'm going to get this one. So I did a lot of research, as you can see here, a lot of different photos and trying to work out whether this is going to work for me. I'm six foot four tall, so I needed something that's got good leg room, forward controls, comfortable seat. And this one had the apes on it, the mini ape handlebars, which I thought, well, that'd be good. Um, the local guys couldn't do it for the price that I needed, so I went hunting and Harley Heaven here in Blacktown, just out of Sydney, and my daughter and I were going for a drive. So she was driving, thanks Gemma, my daughter's name's Gemma, and here we go. So we're in Blacktown and there's the bike. Lots of other bikes there as you can see, but they were totally out of my price range for being brand new, and this one was in my price range. These guys were able to give me a fairly good discount, and like I said, I, I wanted to buy locally, but I couldn't. So I went with these guys in Blacktown, and there's my daughter there. She's waiting for me. She, she was good, very patient. Thanks, darling. Uh, I made a deal with her. I said, look, you ever get your bike, I'll buy your helmet and your leathers and everything. <laughs> so she's quite tall too, as you can see. She's six foot tall. And um, so anyway, we had to wait a few weeks, and then now we're going back to Sydney, and there it is. They got the bike ready. They put forward controls on it there. You can see in the chrome. Um, because I, I like chrome so obviously there's me there picking it up and I'm wanting to modify the bike later on so I thought ahead going well I don't want it all black okay this is my own personal preference I like chrome so I've gone with the chrome forward controls and this is the unruly few these are the first guys that actually saw me with my bike so this is in Bathurst and I've rode back from Sydney in the Bathurst, staying at my daughter's place that night, and then I rode to the clubhouse that night, showed it off to them. They loved it, they thought it was amazing. Um, so here I am, I'm looking at the bike going, okay, what do I get rid of, what do I take off, what do I modify, what do I like, what do I don't like? Those rubbers that you can see right there on the front forks, they were the first things to go. I'm like, where's my Stanley knife, quick, I need a knife, gotta cut those things off. Um, also too, that control, arm there for the gear shift and I changed that as well and also the rear passenger seat I the, that one there I took that off as you can see and it had clear tape I don't know if you can see it, it had clear tape there underneath it so the seat didn't actually scratch the paint so I took that off and also took off the passenger pegs um, because I don't ride with a passenger obviously I just it's just me I ride solo um, and I took those off. So there's the change of the gear shift controller there, which is quite nice. Lovely chrome Harley Davidson piece there. So the rubbers are gone, the rear seat's gone, passenger pegs, no, they're still there. I haven't taken them off yet, but that's 
that, that was basically the next thing to go. Uh, this is the first major ride I did out of town. Um, went and saw my mum, showed it off to her, she loved it. Um, now the seat, no, no, not a fan of the seat. Sorry Harley Davidson, that seat is terrible, disgusting, change it up. Uh, that seat is great if you're only riding for uh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, maybe around town or something like that. But any long distances like I did with this one, mate, I had a numb bite. Seriously, after about 45 minutes on the bike, it was terrible. So I had to invest in uh, getting a beer here, so driving out with the Vintage Bike Club here. Um, that's a sulfur crested cockatoo, the Australian birds there in my backyard. So I was working on the bike and these guys decided to come and say hello. Uh, riding the bike to church. Um, so yeah, look, great bike, absolutely fantastic. It, it you know, fuel injected, um, it's all stock standard at this point, uh, except for the forward controllers. Um, the standard exhaust, etc., was really quiet. And this is the top of Mount Canoblis, which is in orange. It's the tallest um, mountain around, and as you can see, it's got beautiful views. Um, but the bike was very quiet, and I mean very quiet. You can imagine you're doing 60 mile an hour or 100 kilometers an hour on the road. This thing was super quiet. And here we go, having a cup of coffee. So thanks for watching everybody, there's a lot more stuff coming with this bike in the next video, a lot of mods, uh, but I hope you liked it. This is my brand new Street Bob 2023 Harley Davidson, great bike, I do love it, it's very very nice, I'm quite happy with that. Thanks for watching, um, stay tuned, and don't forget to send in your photos and everything for uh, Guest Rider, please subscribe, and thanks for watching everybody, have a great day, see ya.